Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is Wednesday, February 2nd. It is 9.45 p.m. and we are expecting another winter storm approaching. So we've got a winter storm warning. They're saying it's supposed to begin here um, in about 15 minutes actually. It's currently raining. It's still about 37 degrees. They're, they're claiming at some point overnight here it's going to drop below freezing. It's going to turn to snow and uh, by morning tomorrow, we're supposed to have between one and three inches. We're supposed to get another five to 10 between tomorrow and tomorrow night. So this is kind of a, a longer storm. So I don't anticipate any issues with the system keeping up um, this time. I, this is not a lake effect event. This is just a front that's moving across the country. Um, in fact, some of you that are watching this right now probably already experienced uh, this storm earlier this week. So anyway, uh, 9.45, I just turned on the system. Um, it's already heating up. We're down to 44 coming back in uh, from the slab. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's uh, 44 degrees there. And looks like that's about as low as it got. Um, so again, you know, comparing that to some of my other videos, I can link one of them above. You can check out the full playlist and link in the description below. That's got just a ton of videos as far as different scenarios. But, you know, when it's really, really cold out, sometimes that return glycol temperature when you first fire this up uh, will get down as low as in the 20s. In this case, it's been about, you know, 40 degrees most of the day today. And... You know, it's now it's already climbing. We're up to 45. So outside temperature does make a huge difference on response time and on the temperature of that slab. Because the slab is insulated, uh, the, the ground really doesn't affect it much at all. So yeah, that's good. In that case, um, we'll, we'll probably get a good initial burn here. And I turned it on at 945, the radiant had just shut off at 943, and I have that wired with priority. Um, I did make some other wiring changes over here. I added another um, SmartThings power meter outlet. It wouldn't fit here because it's too close, so it's actually in the box here. That's what this wire, this bottom one, kind of runs and goes in there. I wanna try to see if that will help me with my logging. Um, you know, that's more just so I can give you guys the numbers at the end of the video on how much this event costs. And it's also for my own spreadsheets and tracking over the entire winter, you know, how much uh, how much this is costing me to run. And you know, I just like to keep track of it. So anyway, I'm not gonna stand here and bore you with uh, another, you know, 20 minutes of rambling about this. We're already up to 50. The heaters are uh, both showing 85 in. I did make some labels here so you can see right now uh, 83.6 going back to the heaters, 51 coming in from the driveway and climbing. And then here 137.3 coming in from the heaters and 86 heading out to the, uh, the driveway. So that's pretty good. Um, you know, that's a good, this, this is going to get up to a hundred going out pretty quick this time. We're already up to 54. So yeah, this will be a quick burn. Uh, the radiant just think just finished at 943. So that won't run for another hour and a half. And with the way this is climbing, I bet this is off by then. So we should be good. Anyway, I'll switch over to the time-lapse now and, uh, let you guys watch this. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching.